Let's go! Hey, boys. Since Caleb have finished the 14 manga characters, manga characters are done and dusted. They will come back eventually. And as of now, obviously, we don't know if we're going to get more or not. Um, hopefully, we do. Because I don't know what you know what's next. But now is a good chance for Caleb to start redoing characters that deserve a new and better version. And, you know, we're already seeing that. We're getting new four bring characters. So, Ruruka, Tsukashima, and Ginjo. And I, I believe they're coming. They should be coming at the end of the month in like two weeks' time. Three weeks' time. And we're also seeing that with the tag team characters. As tag team Toshiro and Ikaku are also getting remakes. As they were originally four stars and now they're five stars. And then, obviously, just to finish the tag team characters, we're getting Omaida. But, I thought it'd be fun to count down. 10 characters who, in my opinion, deserve a new and better version. And obviously, since this, this list is very opinionated, I'm sure I'm going to, you know, say a character you might not agree with. Um, I don't think there's going to be any hate compared to my last video, my last top 10 list. But let me know what you think, who you think deserves a remake character if I missed them out. But without further ado, let's get into the list. Coming in at number 10. Why? Because he's trash. Absolute trash. No, I'm just joking. But the actual number 10 slot is going to an anime original character who might be a surprise for you lot. Captain Amagai. I think his name's Sosuke. Sosuke Amagai. Um, I'll be honest, I haven't really seen this arc. But I did watch the final fight with him in Ichigo. And Amagai was pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. Especially in his Bankai form. Uh, I, I was, you know, I was pretty disappointed actually watching that fight that we actually didn't get that Amagai the first time. So I thought maybe next time if we ever do get a new Amagai, it could be him in his Bankai form. And, you know, give him Frenzy, give him Sorry but Killer, give him a moveset, a cool moveset. You know, full screen strong attack, whatever, sad. With, you know, fire and all his attacks and boom, we got a top tier character. And I'm sure most people would see that straight away and say, uh, I'm going to skip. But then when we see gameplay and he actually looks cool and, you know, he's actually a top tier character, then people would want to pull for him. I definitely think I'm a guy should get a new character. And same goes for the other filler characters. They all deserve, deserve new ones. But that's number 10. I'm a guy got that spot. Number 9 is someone I know many people are passionate about and it's time for Caleb to put their foot down and give us the dirtiest of boots that Bleach has to offer. You get the joke. Dirty boots. Bleach. Jackie. Alright, anyway, we're talk obviously we're talking about Jackie. Most of you guys know that Jackie got the 4 star treatment when she got initially released with the other 4 brain characters while someone like Giriko got a 5 star character, even though he's a metal exchange, he still got the 5 star character when he literally got one shotted by Kenpachi. But, obviously, like I said at the start of the video, the other four brain characters, the, you know, Ginjo, Tsukushima, and Ruka, are getting remakes. So, now, I think there's a good chance for Jackie to get a 5 star, and one that she deserves. Number 8 is being taken by Stark's best friends. Ish, I guess. But obviously, talking about Lilinette. Lilinette was obviously another character that got the 4 star treatment when she was initially released on her banner. I can't remember which banner it was on, I'm pretty sure it was with Stark, but... While she isn't the strongest character in Bleach, you know, it doesn't really matter, but her role in general, you know, deserves, it makes her deserve a 5-star character. She stocks other half, right? So, either make her a 5-star a by herself, whether that's Metal Exchange or a Banner, I don't really care. But, you know, personally, I would like to see you start off as Lilinette, and then when you use your third string attack, you go back, you turn into Stark, you know, like, like, Ying and Yang. Oh, no, not, it's, it's Ying and Yang, yeah, like them two. And the Shizuku girl, I forgot her name, from the movie Free Banner. So you start off as Lilinette, you use your strong attack free, and boom, you turn into Stark unreleased. And then when you use your special, you turn into Stark uh, fully released, you know, back into his guns, whatever, like the green one. Because, you know, I'd also like a new green Stark, or a new Stark with his guns, because I, I didn't even get that version. But that's number eight, Lilinette. Number seven is going to your boy, Uryu. For the simple reason that we need more Quincy's in the game, personally, I think that. Um, if Caleb can't give us the Stern Ritter, at least give my boy Uryu a new OP version. Uh, bonus point if it's Uryu's Sanrei Shuto form. I think that's what it's called, you know, the one where he used it against Mayuri. Because I think that's his coolest moment in Bleach so far. But we get that, say we get that form, give him Frenzy, because so far all the other Quincy's that have come out into the game, like the free Uryu's, the... Ryukin and Yuha, they're not, none of them have Frenzy, right? So it'd be nice to finally get a Quincy that actually has Frenzy. So, number seven, Uryu Ishida. Hopefully we get that eventually. Hopefully we just get a new good Uryu because we didn't get a manga one. Number six, 
you know he was going to be on the list. No surprise. It's it's Chad. It's been three years, game. It's been three years, Caleb. Come on. We need a new version already. There's, there's nothing else to say. It's Chad. Number five is going to... Actually, someone that's worse than Chad, actually. Um, it's it's the MVP of Soul Society. The Soul Society arc, at least. Hanataro. Like, he hasn't even gotten a single five-star. At least Chad got a five-star. At least Chad got a five-star raid character. Uh, Hanataro's raid character ain't even a five-star. So, you know, eventually... Come on, Caleb. Eventually, just give us a new Hanataro. And I think most people will be happy. Give him a heal. Give him a, give him a heal and strong attack. Uh, team heal. Be useful in raids. Full Hollow Ichigo has taken the fourth spot for obvious reasons. Full Hollow Ichigo was by far one of the hypest characters to be released in the game, along with obviously Essie or Kiora. Uh, their banner, you know, I think no one, no one skipped on that. Everyone pulled and wanted them, and I think some people even quit if they didn't get, if they didn't get them. But that was two years ago. Nowadays, you know, Full Hollow Ichigo isn't even worthy of being a filler character because no one wants him. Everyone has him, right? So I think it's about time that Full Hollow Ichigo gets a remade version, a new and better version. It's only natural, right? Because Essie Okiora has, you know, he got one last year, almost a year ago now, I believe. I think it's exactly a year. And he also got the third anniversary one. So I think it's about time for Hollow gets a new and better version. Number three is reserved for the Baldi that we all know and love, Ikaku. Now, I know Ikaku's getting the new tag team version, but it's not Bankai Ikaku. We need a new Bankai Ikaku. I believe for the longest time, Bankai Ikaku is one of the rarer characters because he wasn't really featured in any banner, but I think I think they gave him a character pack. I can't really remember. But Bankai Ikaku needs a remake. Um, I think it's the coolest form of Ikaku so far, and I think most of you will agree. Number two is going to the Espada number three. Yes, we're talking about Nell. You, you were thought I was going to say Halibur, weren't you? But yes, Nell, or the ex Espada number three, I guess. But yeah, Nell received two seasonal characters in the last year. One, I think, also should be returning. The Parasol one should be returning. And I believe the Summer one should be returning this month, right? But I think it's time for Nell to get a good canon version. Whether that's her in her released form, which, you know, I don't really want, or in her unreleased form from either the fight with Noitura just before she went released, you know, in that skimpy outfit that we have as the four-star, you know, that version as a five-star, or the one where she first fought Noitura before she lost her memories in the Espada outfit or Ranka outfit. Either one works, and I'll be happy to take another nail. And just like the manga characters, Ichigo has taken two spots in the list, but at least this one is more justified. We're obviously talking about Dangai Ichigo. Uh, similar to Full Hollow Ichigo, Dangai Ichigo's release banner featured Barragon and Aizen, both of which who have received a new and better version, obviously the Mind one and the Technique one. So it's reasonable to expect a new version of Dangai, and I think Caleb will eventually give it to us. I think they're saving it for a couple months. Wait for the hype to die down and then boom, just release him. Everyone's going to be summoning. I personally hope he's a, a power strong attack character. Um, you know, I don't really have any reason for that. I just want a power strong attack character. But that was my list. It was pretty short, I, I believe. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you, if you ain't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Like the video. Again, if you disagree... Uh, with anyone I included in this list, or the ranking itself, let me know in the comments. And if you made it this far, I guess I'd just throw in an honorable mention. Uh, any of the Visards, you know, a new Shinji, new Hiyori, any of them. I know there's some, you know, Shinji and uh, past Lisa, you know, they're still good characters, right? I'm a Shiro. But, I, you know, I think K-Lab could redo those characters and make it so when they use their special, they put their Hollow Mask on, or their Visard Mask on. And that'd be pretty cool, and then they can also get a power-up. Uh, they could redo that for all the... Visored, so you know Hachigun who hasn't even received another fire star so like Chad but That was it guys. I hope you enjoyed my video and I'll see you guys in the next one